Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how I blow out my hair with this Revlon like two-in-one blow dryer and brush. I did a video review on this a couple of months ago and I didn't actually show how to use it. I thought it was pretty simple to use, but a lot of you guys wanted to see how I actually style my hair with it, so that's what this video is gonna be about. I uh, just got out of the shower, put a tiny bit of makeup on, and so my hair still is soaking wet from the shower. I haven't even really um, brushed it yet or run over it with any dryer, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I, I just use a really wide tooth comb to brush my hair. My, I have so much hair. I have really thick hair and a lot of it, so I hold a lot of water in my hair. Um, I am gonna put a little bit of this uh, Bumble and Bumble BB Repair Blow Dry through it. I got this in either Sephora or Ulta or somewhere because this is, or maybe I got it in one of my Sephora Play boxes. I got it at somewhere, I did not purchase this, but I am out of the stuff that I usually use, which is the Loma Repair Tonic. So I've been using this and I actually like it. So I'm just kind of running this all throughout my hair, especially on the ends just to evenly coat it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna run over my hair and dry most of it with like a regular blow dryer. I don't think this step is necessary for people that don't have really thick hair or don't have a ton of hair, but for me, I just have so much that if I just use the Revlon brush, it's gonna take a lot longer to really dry all of my hair and I don't have time for that. So I'm just gonna grab a quick blow dryer. I'm not gonna grab a round brush, I'm just gonna dry about 60, 70% of my hair with that. I'm so grateful for Derm Store. They sent me the new Harry Josh Ultra Light Blow Dryer. Uh, this actually launches on the 23rd, so like in about a week. Um, I'm not sure when this video goes up, but it'll actually, it, it'll either be for sale right after this video goes up or right when this video goes up. But I love this. I had the original Harry and Josh, and this is just as good, but it's really, really lightweight, and it's quieter than my other one. So I gifted my husband the old one, so he's happy about that. So I'm just gonna use this on the hottest setting and I'm gonna dry my hair real quickly. Okay, so it's about 60% dry. I don't wanna dry it completely because I uh, want the brush to do the styling and the smoothing part. So you wanna leave some like dampness in your hair, but I basically just like dried out all that excess water that was in there. So then I'm just gonna kind of run a comb through it really quickly. Okay, so next I'm gonna section off my hair. I always start with the bottom section, so I'm gonna pull up pretty much all of my hair except this like bottom piece right here. So I'm gonna get this rest of the hair out of the way. Okay, then I'm gonna take the Revlon blow dryer and there are three settings. There's cool, low, and high, and I'm gonna use the high setting for drying. Whenever I'm like drying out sweat in my hair, which I talked about in that video, like if you go to the gym or you work out and you don't wanna wash your hair but you just wanna refreshen it up, I'll use the cool setting for that. But whenever my hair is wet, I want it really high so that it's uh, there's a lot of heat and it smooths out my hair. So I'm just gonna turn it on and basically I'm just going to Grab the section. I'm gonna, the, the great thing I like about this brush over using a round brush is that you can grab bigger sections so it doesn't take as long. Um, so this right here, I'm gonna probably break into just two sections, whereas with a round brush, it would probably be three sections. Um, and it's also a lot wider, so you can, again, grab more hair and those sections can be wider. Um, but basically, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on, I'm gonna put it at the base of my hair like that, and I'm gonna let it sit there for a few seconds so that that heat is still drying um, the dampness out of the hair. I'm gonna let it sit, and then I'm just gonna kind of run it down, like kind of holding it with my hand. I mean, you don't even have to really hold it with your hand. It's so easy and it grips the hair really well that you don't even really need this other hand where normally you, you would have a blow dryer and a round brush. You just have one, you're just using one hand. I will say this, this is a great tool. Um, it's not as good as a, of a style, I think, as a round brush and a blow dryer. Uh, it's still great though. So it's still better than just drying your hair without any type of styling tool. Um, it's gonna smooth it out a lot more, but I think if um, I really want to like go the extra mile and make my hair look like the perfect blowout, I would reach for a blow dry and a round brush. But this is great for like day to day, great looking hair. Um, I still love this. So I just wanna say that because it's so big, you can't really curl it as much as you can with like a smaller round brush. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that. Then you'll see 
I'll kind of just twist it. I'll just twist my wrist a little bit just to kind of give a little bit more curl on the bottom. And that's it, that's all you do. I mean, you really can't go wrong with this. I mean, there's really no wrong way to use this, I think. Uh, this is just how I use it. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do the rest of my hair and then we'll see what the final product looks like. I do wanna say one tip that is helpful, help, I do wanna mention one tip that is pretty helpful. Uh, you do wanna keep it there a little longer. The first time I used this, I was kind of running it through quickly and I noticed that it took longer to dry. So you do wanna kind of hold it there for a little bit longer than I do when I use a round brush and a blow dryer because again, that heat is coming from within the brush. So you wanna let it sit there with enough time to really dry your hair. Okay, then I'm just gonna take down and work on another section. So I have, well, I have so much hair, I, I have to do several sections, but I'm just gonna Pull down about that much, pull the rest up, and do the same thing all over. piece here. When I get around my face, I have to pass through a little more quickly because my ears get really hot. There's a lot of heat that comes from this. So you'll notice that I'm passing a little more quickly. That's my only complaint really about this product is that uh, the heat comes out in all directions. So it gets, <laughs> gets hot if it's, you know, bla blazing on your face or your ears. Um, okay. So I have this one piece here. I could probably do one section with this, but I like to do something a little different with the front piece. So I'm going to do break this into two sections. This will be really quick because it's a small section. Okay, so for the front section, I'm gonna do just like I do when I use a blow dryer and a round brush. I'm gonna pull it forward first and then kind of pull it backwards just to give a little more volume on the top. So let me go ahead and kind of brush it. Okay, so I've already kind of brushed through it, so I'm just gonna turn it on and... can see how much volume that gave right here, which is exactly what I want. So now I'm just going to kind of final touch everything. I'm just going to turn it on and kind of run through it just to, just to get out any leftover moisture in the hair and just give it a little bit more shine. And, and then I'm going to finish it with my shine spray by Orbe. Okay, so this is what it looks like after it's just been dried. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Shine Light Reflecting Spray by Orbe. I love this product. It's such a fine, light mist, so it doesn't build up or leave the hair feeling heavy. This is nice because it's a really ultra, like lightweight mist, but it gives a really pretty shine. So if you're like me and you don't like to wash your hair very often, you probably uh, are careful about the products that you use in your hair because again, the more products you use, the dirtier it's gonna get and feel and look, and the more frequently you're gonna have to wash. So I need something to give a little bit of shine to my hair, but I don't want it to be heavy. So I really like this. And I'm gonna step away from the camera because last time I did this, it got all over my camera and that was not good. Um, and it smells so good. If you've ever smelled the Orbe line of hair products, you know what I'm talking about. This stuff smells so good. So I'm just gonna kind of spray the back. Okay. And that's it. This is the style that that hair dryer gives. It's so easy to use. I really don't think you can go wrong. I mean, this is the way that I use it, but don't feel like you have to map out the exact way that I did it. I mean, honestly, you really can't mess up with this brush. It's really easy to use, which I think is why I uh, like it and I recommend it to people so much because it took me a while to master how to use a round brush 
and a blow dryer. I feel like I just got that down about a year or so ago and uh, this is just easy to use. So if you struggle with a blow dryer and round brush, I recommend giving this a try. Like I said, you can't go wrong. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.